Hi, I'm Steve Sutter with Green Planet 21. We've heard a lot of talk about tariffs and it seems that uh, recycling, uh, waste paper and waste plastic and, and, and metals and all, are right in the uh, bullseye of uh, retaliation from China for the tariffs that uh, uh, the United States has imposed on China and then of course China has retaliated. Um, and folks need to understand that uh, tariffs are really blunt weapon at best in an effort to gain what you want in trade. I mean, there's certainly le legitimate issues with China in terms of intellectual property and the rest, but at the end of the day a tariff is nothing but a tax on the consumers of both countries. It's going to cost uh, consumers in China more money to buy our BM uh, BMWs that are manufactured in South Carolina or to buy the Fords or the Harley Davidsons or whatever. At the same token, the uh, shirts that we wear or the blue jeans or the uh, irons and uh, uh, TV sets that are made in China are going to be more expensive for the American consumer to buy. Uh, everyone needs to understand that the world's very integrated. We, we, we did a video called The Global Shipping Loop and I would, if you're really interested, I suggest you watch that because it's, it's a pretty good film. But what happens is if anyone thinks that if China is diminished because of tariffs, that the people in China are impoverished, if they don't think that China, which is the second largest economy, isn't going to going to impact our economy and the robustness of, of our economy, as they go down, they're going to buy less U.S. goods. They're going to buy less raw material. They're going to buy less copper, which is mined in the U.S. They're going to buy less waste paper, which is generated in the U.S. Uh, all the way through, they're going to buy fewer soybeans and all the rest of it as they go, go down. And it, this is not the right instrument. It's just the not, not the right instrument. And